Hey there, Joe Techie, back again to do another review. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Anchor Smart keyboard case uh, for the iPad Air 2. Uh, this just came in, it's a brand new product, and hopefully this should be pretty good. I've looked at some of the, the ratings on this and comparing it to some of the other keyboards out there for the price. This is around $30 to $35 depending on which which version of it you buy. The Anchor TC930 Bluetooth keyboard cover. Um, go ahead and take a look at this. We'll unbox it and see what this really comes out to be. So let's see what we've got here so far. All right, we've got the keyboard, naturally. Okay, and Looks like we've got a welcome guide and happy card, charging cable, and this is just packing material. Alright, so let's set this aside. Okay. okay, looks like it comes with some rubber feet for the bottom since this is an aluminum material. That will come in handy so that way you're not scratching up the bottom of the actual case itself, the keyboard case. Okay, those are the little feet. There actually gives you eight of them. Maybe either for replacements or to place them in various areas along the bottom. Okay, so overall this is looking pretty pretty nice. It's got a nice shiny finish as you can tell. That may bother some folks. Uh, I can tend to get a little picky about the finish uh, in terms of keeping my device clean. And that, that's where I tend to get a little anal, so to speak, where I'm constantly cleaning, wiping down my, my device, making sure there's not so many fingerprints on it so it doesn't look so grungy. But uh, anyway, we shall move on. Um, this is the iPad Air 2. And you'll notice how thin this device is. It's extremely thin, which is one of the things I really liked a lot about the Air 2. But the way this works, uh, from what I've seen here, is you've got, you've got the magnet. Okay, and this literally hooks up to that. And then closes up. And there it is. You've got... A perfect looking little keyboard case kind of like netbook style keyboard cover that is a smart cover as soon as I open this okay I guess it's not magnetic so how we do this is we put this here you may have heard a little click sound what happened is this little thing pops up so as soon as you put the iPad in the groove it literally makes this pop up so that's that's kind of neat so it, it creates a, a backing for you okay so uh, you know this is pretty good I like this a um, couple so far one downside that I'm seeing is this is the only angle that I'll ever be able to see this at. So I'll never be able to change this angle, unfortunately. But, you know, that's okay. I mean, considering the price that I paid for this, I, I can't complain too much, honestly, on on the price. So this is a pretty good device. So let's go ahead and, and pair this up and see what it looks like. Let me first turn the device on. There we go. All right, let's go to Bluetooth. And I will need to hold my function key and this little Bluetooth button down here. And here we go, it shows up here as a device. And now it wants me to enter a code. So two, one, three, eight, and enter. And we are now paired. So 
to start using some of the function keys uh, or some of the keys across the top here, like for example the home button, I would hold down the function key and that will take me back home. Okay, uh, so same with all the others. So we have your brightness. Uh, I can actually make the uh, keyboard come up. So let's see. Let's just go to apple.com. If I could just type correctly, that might be a good start. Okay, so that's working pretty good. Uh, let's see, so we've got here, you can actually switch between keyboard mode and touchscreen mode, and that's what this button's for. You've got your copy and paste functions, uh, different keyboard shortcuts, like here, that's for your internet. Your rewind, play, pause, fast forward, your your up volume, lower mute, rather, change your volume controls here, and this will lock the device. Uh, so this is pretty good. I mean, it, the keys feel really nice. I like it. Uh, sounds it's not, it doesn't sound too clanky for you know a low profile keyboard. It's very thin. Um, I mean, just just this alone. I mean, that that's pretty pretty thin. That's pretty remarkable that they're able to make these this thin nowadays. But uh, this looks pretty good. So close this back up. Looks like I've got some extra material I need to remove from here. And look at that. It actually does wake. As soon as I plug that in and pop it in there, it's good to go. One other quick thing to note on this device is that uh, you know, one of the downsides to this particular model keyboard is that uh, the back is open and exposed. So therefore, you you know slip it into your bag or your book bag or whatever the case is. Uh, it is going to be prone to dinging up the actual back of your iPad, which is one of the things I don't like about this case. Again, for the money, I can't complain too much, so I'd still give it a really good rating overall. Uh, and it can be easily resolved by buying a, uh, an extra cover with the smart uh, feature. So therefore, I could put a cover on it that actually has the cutout for the, uh, the smart cover magnet. Uh, and I could eliminate this issue uh, and not add too much bulk to the device itself. Again, good device. All right, well, I hope you found this useful. It was, uh, this is the brand new Anchor TC930 keyboard case. And like I said, this, this device is going for between 30 and $35, depending on which model you choose uh, on Amazon. I'll have a product link posted down below. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe, and there will be more reviews to come. Um, all right, take it easy. Joe Techie signing out. Bye-bye.